Okay, my Generac 27KW Generac generator was set up on a weekly test schedule. A couple weeks ago it quit testing and came out here and got a, an alarm that says uh, RPM sense loss. Hit the button, uh, manual button, manual start, and it wouldn't crank. So I put in a new battery and it is also gonna need a starter the battery was four years old probably wasn't bad it was probably cranking and uh, the starter was bad the whole time probably didn't need the battery but I figured I had to put it in there anyway now here's the main point of the video Generac man came out and told me it was four hundred and eighteen dollars for a new starter this starter from eBay cost me a hundred and twenty nine dollars in free shipping it's uh, made by world power systems I would say that that's a pretty decent alternative to a four hundred dollar part which I think is absolutely ridiculous I'm gonna go ahead and I've got the battery disconnected if you change your starter this generator is four years old, so of course it's out of warranty. But if you change your starter, make sure you disconnect the battery completely. And I'll come back to you when I get the starter off. You've got uh, bolts right there that are showing. And I've got this nifty little husky wrench that I'm going to use for the first time. Yay! First rule of thumb. Don't worry about the fancy equipment, just get a regular wrench. <laughs> it's a pretty tight spot, so you just want to use your regular wrench or a socket. The Once you get those three bolts out, well, b before you do that, you'll want, to, you'll want to disconnect everything that is hooked to the starter, and um, you'll want to take a photo with your cell phone to make sure you put everything back right that's an easy way to do it then once you get those three bolts out uh, they're laying right there then you can just take this pick it up pull it right out and take that last wire off all right it's pretty simple now got the old one out there's where it used to be and by the way, the wrench sizes, uh, if you're into metrics, is 10 uh, for the small nut right there on the back, the smaller one. And it's a 13 for the other ones. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the new one on. The new one slides right in. Just make sure you keep the nuts from the old one so that they'll go on to the the new threads my new starter that I bought on eBay it didn't have one of the nuts on the back when it came in the box the new one just slides right in put it in on a little bit of an angle and then rotate it until the bolts the bolt holes line up and just put one through and hand tighten it while you finish wiring up the back pretty simple so far now that sure looks pretty. I hope it works. Now I'm going to hook the battery back up and I'm going to try to start it. Now next time somebody tries to charge you $418 for a starter, don't get mad. Just get even. Take their money away from them. Go buy you a replacement part if your generator is out of warranty. Of course, best thing to do is always to use a Generac service tech rep but I mean really $418 people think because you can afford a 27 kW generator they can pretty much screw you over well not me and most people can change these by themselves I'm gonna crank it in a minute after I hook the battery up all right, battery's hooked back up. Make sure you don't t over tighten the bolts hooking the battery back up and break the ear off of that terminal end. 
the uh, metric 13 works for that too by the way while your covers off you may want to take a leaf blower and blow out from under there and try to clean it out a little bit especially if it's been a while since you've done it all right what I say is that you don't need a $418 starter to fix your generator that works just fine matter of fact if I were you and I owned a generator like this I would have me I would have a spare starter sitting somewhere because I guarantee you once the power goes out your starter might too it's going to be the time you need it have a starter sitting around it's easy to it's easy to change out okay shut it down and you should see a uh, message says ready to run one more final thing when you put your doors on when you take your doors on and off the generator it's real easy you don't need any sort of special lock the only thing you need to do is just take a screwdriver close your door put a little pressure against it just take a screwdriver a regular screwdriver put it in one of the holes and rotate it around that's all you need to do and that took about I don't know maybe 20 minutes total to replace the starter on a 27 kW Generac generator